Hi, I'm Dan Hammes, and in this tutorial we'll cover bacterial transformations. In order to prep for bacterial transformation, there's a few steps that you should take. First is to prepare an ice bath, and in this ice bath we'll go your minus 80 degrees uh, competent cells from the freezer. You'll take these directly out of the minus 80 degrees Celsius uh, freezer, put them right into the ice bath just to make sure that these competent cells um, stay competent. Uh, competent cells have been treated chemically so that they allow for uptake of exogenous DNA. And it's important that you just submerge them into the ice bath and keep them in the ice bath. Also, you'll need to have your 50 mil falcon tube pre-chilled in the ice bath as well. And you'll need to make ahead of time LB auger plates, which have the uh, antibiotic of interest that your DNA contains that you're going to be transforming into the bacterial cells. And also, another thing to note is that you should have a heat bath set to 42 degrees Celsius for the heat shock stage that's going to take place and also have pre-warmed SOC media pre-incubating in this heat bath. So now with all these components prepared, we can start our transformation. The first step in transformation is to pipette your competent cells from the ice into your 15 mL falcon tube. So simply pipette your cells into falcon tube. So with the competent cells in the falcon tube, we now take our DNA and we should add DNA at 50 nanograms to our competent cell mixture. So simply pipette the desired amount of DNA into your falcon tube. And simply just take the tube out quickly and shake it a few times just so the reaction is mixed up well. So now with the bacterial cells incubating on the ice, we now allow this to take place for 30 minutes. And you can just set this on a little timer and have that going. So when the 30 minutes is up, you take your uh, 50 mil conical tube, you then subject it to a um, 30 second heat shock. So have your timer ready again, set it for 30 seconds, and put this directly into the heat bath for 30 seconds. And once this 30 second heat shock is done, place the cells directly right back into the ice and proceed to adding 250 microliters of SOC media to your cell mixture. And it's important that you let your mixture incubate on ice for at least one minute before you add the SOC media. So now that we have competent cells with DNA, and now that it's contained in SLC media, we now need to incubate this mixture in a 37 degree rotating incubator for one hour. So like before, set your alarm for one hour, put it in the incubator, and then after your reaction has taken place, we will then take this 50 mil falcon tube and continue to our final step of the transformation, where we pipette this mixture onto our selective auger plate. So, we will take the whole 250 microliter sample, pipette this directly onto the auger plate, take a stir bar or a hockey stick, and simply just spread the reaction evenly over the auger plate. Now that we spread our cells on the auger plate, now what we need to do is we need to let this uh, just incubate at room temperature until the, all the liquid contained on the top of this plate just simply dries because when we put this in the incubator to incubate overnight, we want our liquid to uh, just kind of evaporate so that it doesn't leak all over the place when we set it upside down in the incubator. So simply take your auger plate now, once it's dried, put it in a 37 degree Celsius incubator and incubate overnight and in the morning, come back and check for transformants. You should have a number of transformants showing up on your auger plate with small colonies being seen. So that is our bacterial transformation, and thank you.